I'm Joe Miller, I'm 28, from North London, and I'm a, a Remax Roll Long Drive champion. So long driving obviously isn't something conventional to get into, so how on earth did you? Through advertising, actually, uh, a local leaflet come through to the local golf club at the time, um, and I went along and gave it a go, and eventually it sort of just kept rolling and eventually become the European champion in 2005. So you won the Remax World Championships in 2010. Can yep. you just take us through kind of the process leading up to that? Uh, well, it was a tough time, actually, going through a bit of a tough time at that, uh, at that point. Uh, my dad passed away three months prior to that. Uh, so it was always a bit, it was a tough lead up to that. Uh, flying out to Vegas um, wasn't actually in the event prior to actually going out there. It was a, I was going out for a last chance qualifier. And fortunately enough, got through that, hit it pretty well in that. Uh, a couple of days later, the main event starts, and uh, it was just go from there. You know, I, I had a bit of a focus, uh, uh, and ended up working out all right in the end, actually. So, um, what was the winning distance in the end, in the final? 414 yards. So we obviously know you can hit the ball a hell of a long way. What is your longest drive? Longest longest drive ever recorded in competition was 474 yards. Uh, that was in the European Finals, 2005. Um, Longest drive out of competition, uh, 560 yards at the London Club. <laughs> <laughs> Work it, baby. <laughs> okay, Joe, you hit it a long way off the tee. Yeah. Okay, so from 400 yards, you're arguably the best in the world. Yeah. What are you like from 100 yards? <laughs> from 100 yards, yeah, do you know what? The game's actually pretty good at the moment. So the, the putting's a little bit off. I uh, had a few, a few good rounds lately uh, where the putting's let me down a little bit. So. You know, from 100 yards in, it's pretty tasty, actually. Because you are a scratch golfer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, it, like I say, the short game is pretty tidy. It's not, it's not something I practice. It's not something I get taught at all. I mean, I've never had a lesson in the short game. Um, but, you know, I can, I can manoeuvre it around the green quite comfortably. So, in the years since you won it in 2010, what's, what's been the state of play with you in terms of the World Long Drive Championship? Uh, well, I, d I got a lot of work off the back of obviously doing that um, and uh, got signed up with Callaway, could do a lot of exhibition work. Um, and again, I go out to the, the Remax every year, uh, trying, to, uh, trying to get that title back since then. So it's, uh, it's, it's a full schedule, really. So swinging at these speeds and hitting the ball with that much power, you mm. must have broken a few driver heads in your time. I've broken a few in my time, definitely. Uh, you know, the, most of the time it's the, the heads that will pop. Uh, but again, this year, you know, I'm not just saying this, they haven't broke, um, which is, is, is actually a massive credit to Callaway. In fact, all right, here we go. Your fans, Joe, your fans. <laughs> Are there moments in competition where you know, you've, you've, had, you've had an awful day out there, you come in and you just want to tear up the changing room, you want to smash your driver <laughs> into your bag? I don't get them days much now, to be fair. It's, uh, I take my anger out on the golf ball, which is always a good thing as well about hitting it a long way. You know, you get to uh, anything that sort of builds up stress or winds you up a little bit, you can always, uh, you can always take out a bit of pressure and uh, a bit of stress out on them golf balls. So I'll put it this way to you. Would you rather be a long drive world champion or would you rather win the Open or the Masters? <laughs> I would rather both. Uh, you know, I love what, what I do now is great fun uh, and it's something that... 99% of golfers would want to do as well. Um, but somewhere along the line, yeah, maybe go down the professional route and uh, get on tour and, and give that a go as well. So you're a cowboy. Cowboy? Cowboy. 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 C